Greetings, Unsettled Souls. Welcome to the Correct Views. I know I've spent a lot of time yelling today, but friends, I'm going to try to get through this segment without yelling. It's probably not going to happen. Um, remember when Groblin Joe said that we were going to trust the Taliban? First of all, they trusted the Taliban to run these security forces, which allowed for one of the most substantial bombings in modern uh, history. I mean, depending on how you define that, easily within the last 20 years. 13 dead Americans, soldiers. Marines, excuse me, I know you can get yourself killed for doing what I just did. Marines, excuse me, excuse me. Our heroes. How about that? Our heroes. What is it? 100, 160? What's the number up to? 3 million? I don't know. The massive number of Afghanis just trying to leave the country. Murdered. We were going to trust the Taliban. Do you know, and you, you're not going to believe me, I ain't got time to show you everything here in a 10-minute video, so look it up yourself. The, the, the Afghan government that we propped up, they offered Grovelin Joe Cabal, they offered him the airport, and he left it in their hands and trusted them. This is the same man who trusted the Taliban. Taliban said they were going to treat women well within Islam, right? Well, you know, if treating them well means sending them in a coffin to be force raped and or married to some bearded pedophilic bastard, then yes. Yes, maybe they gave them a nice pillow in the coffin because they're much, they, they didn't use, that's what it is. They didn't used to put a pillow in the coffin. They used to just put the woman in the coffin. Now they decided, no, 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 we got to be much nicer than that. We gotta be in there. So now they put the, you know, they they, they put her in. A, they, they give it. They give her some uh, some blankets, and they don't call her a dumb bimbo anymore either. They call her a cherished wife. Right before they close the coffin and put her on the plane. MSN Taliban take control. Promise religious rule amid reports of executions and forced marriages, and sending women in caskets. Alive! It doesn't matter. I mean, we already have confirmed reports of these barbarians having intercourse with the dead. I think that was Sun News. I'm not sure. You can find it from last week's report. I had the source on Facts Camp. Yes, they're sleeping with the dead. They're butchering people and sleeping with the dead. Afghan's first day under Taliban rule in nearly two decades has already been marked with fear and violence as officials with the new government are killing individuals as they vow to impose a strict Islamic way of life now that American forces have left the country. I thought they were going to be more inclusive in honoring women. The Taliban, the Taliban, the Talibasters celebrated reclaiming control of the U.S. ended 20-year war with their departure. Yes, we know that. We hope that Afghanistan will not be invaded again, that it will be rebuilt, remain independent, and that a holy Islamic system will rule. Well, let's see. This is their idiot leader. Let's go ahead and see here what it's like. So fair, uh, hours after the U.S. withdrawal from Afghanistan, excuse me, Taliban members were going door-to-door -door in Kabul and executing people. We, that's the audio of it. You can look it up if you really want to ruin your night. So far, it is unclear who the victims are, but a political report confirmed by Fox News, uh, the left and white, the left and white, the left and right agreeing on this, it, you can bet they don't agree on much. Politico and Fox has said that the U.S. officials in Kabul gave the Taliban a list of American citizen green card holders and Afghan allies in an effort to grant them entry to the airport, which resulted in outrage from military officials. Yeah, because it's going to be taking them hostages. Uh, there's already, there was a report today on Fox News. They're going to use it to, well, with the internet addicted to, you know, bloodlust. We all, me too. We all watch these, you know, videos of horrible things happening to people and Taliban's going to milk this for all they can get. Basically, they just put all the Afghans on a kill list, said a defense official. Similar actions have already taken place in other parts of the country before the American military even left. 
Last Wednesday, a former translator for a high-ranking U.S. military ranger told Fox News, there's the link, the Taliban had started executing allies of the U.S. in public in provinces away from the media attention of Cabal, knowing that, you know, that they're going to go ahead and cover uh, cover for the, uh, the scum. Um, let me show you this. Because I know you won't believe me if I don't show it to you. There it is. Taliban shipping sex slaves in coffins. Taliban set women on fire for bad cooking. Shipping sex slaves in coffins. They're being shipped in neighboring countries to be used as sex slaves. They're forcing people to give them food and cook them food. And uh, many young women in the past few weeks have been shipped out as sex slaves. They also force families to marry their young daughters to Taliban fighters. And I don't see where is the promise that they think women should go and going to work when all we are seeing are these atrocities. Burn a dinner, they'll kill you. This is happening. I'm not saying Joe Biden couldn't have prevented this. But think about it. Just use the thinking part of your brain for a minute. Use your head for something other than a hat rack. We could have made sure that the people who have been loyal to the country and, of course, American citizens all got out of there. A lot of these women who are being abused are women who translated, women who stitched up our soldiers' wounds. Okay, you don't think if a soldier is allergic to penicillin, that the hospital's not going to kill him if someone doesn't able to, to get him to say this? If he's not treated, by, if something happens, he gets separated from his unit. He's treated by Afghans. You don't think translators make sure that they're not doing things like that? Giving somebody a penicillin when, you know, they're allergic to it? That's, that's one instance that I thought of off the top of my head. There's millions. We've left those women there to be shipped in boxes. Let me know what you think, friends. Thank you for listening. Thank you for hitting share. Thank you for hitting subscribe. Make sure that you're supporting this on Opera News because you wouldn't even be listening to me now if it was not for Opera News. Good night, friends. God bless.